What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got to Amber Town, got ourselves a fossil, met Team Flare for the first time, defeated a bunch of them, got ourselves a Tyrantum, or Tyrant, I should say, named it Sharptooth, and now it is time for us to get to Silage Town because, hell, we need another badge. Our Pokemon are... You know, growing. Now, here we are in the Ambric Aquarium, something that we didn't visit in the last episode. And, of course, this is the aquarium that actually uh, holds a whole bunch of, like, uh, water-type Pokemon here. Now, there really isn't anything you can actually find except just this guy right here. If you talk to him, let's see. A wandering young trainer, are you? Let me guess, you wish to fish for all the Pokemon in the sea, right? I'm sure you... I'm sure you do. Shall I lend you a rod? I'm a fishing fanatic, and I have collected more raw old rods than I could ever use. Sure. And here we are. The old rod, which of course will allow us to get Hydra 6. That's right, buddy. Hydra 6. Still not going to be on our team, though. And, uh, well, let's see. There you are. One fishing rod. I'll teach you quickly how to use it. First, you've got to face the water when you use it. I've, if an exclamation mark appears, press the A button. You either try to catch the Pokemon... Hold on just a sec. You either... Catch the Pokemon you uh, you fish for, or beat them in a battle. It's up to you now. Only you can prevent forest fires. This is true. And well, here is a statue of the gold, uh, the golden, uh, what you call it, Magikarp right here. Now, believe it or not, guys. Yeah, believe it or not, in in, in Pokemon Sun, while I was playing this off screen. I actually managed to find myself a real freaking golden uh, Magikarp. It's still in my uh, still in my PC. Did not evolve it, and well, I'm probably gonna send it to Sun and Moon, or no, the Sword and Shield eventually. Now here we are in Route Eight. Now there is there is quite a few things that we can find here, items specifically, and here we are back in Ambret Town. Now we were sitting uh, somewhere out here, and we found an item. Look at that. Found ourselves a pearl, which we can actually sell for a lot of money. Lots and lots of dollars. So, let's move on right here, guys. I'm actually going to escape because it's a little faster. Now, you can find some pretty interesting Pokemon under the rocks. I choose not to do that because, yeah, that's a lot of Pokemon that, you know, you, you can actually find right here. And, well, here is a berry that you probably need. The Mago Berry. And, well... Let's move on right here. Let's see, I think there's a specific area right here where you can actually try, uh, what was it, battle somebody? Yeah, an arrow battle or something. So let's see, can I go right here? Yes, I can go past this. Look at that. I just skipped her. I'm just playing. Never mind, it won't let me skip her. So let's go right ahead and move right here. She notices us and she's like, that's the downing machine for you. With this, I can't find items I can't see with no trouble at all. Here, I have one for you. Use it to find some treasure. So look at that, guys. Got ourselves a dowsing machine, which will allow us to find some items that we can't see. And, well, uh, yeah, I thought that she was going to battle us. Never mind. So let's move on right here, guys. There are trainers waiting for us, and look at that. Normally, I sink like a brick, but when, I, but when I'm with my Pokemon, swimming is no problem at all. True. So god dang true. Genevieve. Winnevieve. I, I don't know how to say it. So, let's just move on and battle everybody right here. Okay, so here we go. Wingle, ready to battle. And, well, we're lagging just a little bit, so let's go with a quick attack. I'm waiting. Hold on, I'm waiting. It's lagging! There we go. Okay, so quick attack right here. That's right. And, oh wow, it, it has its own move right there, but guess what I'm gonna do right here? Quick attack again for the win! Take that, Wingle. I don't really have to say it so much, but if it does lag on my... Well, if my video does lag, do excuse it, guys. I am at the perfect spot to get the internet and all that stuff and, uh, well, try to make this video the best quality possible for you guys. That way, you know, there is no issues. I mean, I know there are a lot of nitpickers out there on YouTube. I just got rid of one right here on my channel because, god dang, too many nitpicking, too much suggestions that, you know, I'm like, god dang, man, make your own channel and how about take your own advice? Don't care. There it is. 
I said it. And look at that, Genevieve. Don't know how to say her name, but it has it's a beautiful name. Genevieve. Guinevieve. I don't know. If I'm screwing it up, guys, I'm really sorry. So let's go and switch out our Pokemon to Aaliyah right here, since this is a place for it. And let's see. Swish, swish, swish! You wouldn't believe how much I practice my casting technique. Time to see the results! Okay, alrighty. Let's go, Wharton, and he's coming out with his tentacle right here. Pretty cool Pokemon. I've always wanted to get a tentacle. Never could. So, let's go with the Electro Ball right here. There you go. Electro Ball for the win. That's right. And takes care of that. And Leonelia grows a level, but Godzilla grows to level 26 here. And we're going with some more tentacles. Let's do this. How about another Electro Ball? That's right. And, well, there's another gain right there, level 23. And she wants to learn Nuzzle, so let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's see, what does this Nuzzle do? Uh, the nuzzle or the the user attacks by nuzzling and it's it's electrified cheeks against the target. This also leaves. Okay, so let's go ahead and take away uh, Thunder Wave since you know technically this Pikachu actually does have a static, so it's not much of a difference right there. And look at that guy at 22 learning magical leaf. So let's see. Well, let's go with Lucky Chant. Not much of a not much of a useful eye or move or anything like that, so there we go. Coming out with another tentacle, so let's continue on right here. And let's go Electro Ball. And look at that. Tentacle just getting beat. Okay, alrighty. And look at that Wharton. Kicking butt. I kicked your butt, homeboy. Alright, so that's another one down, and, well, let's go ahead and move on right here. Again, you can actually find uh, items right here, it's just that, you know, I choose not to, because, well, really not that important for me right here. Just the, the, the deal is, get to the next town. And, you're a big one, alright! I can tell my uh, years of experience of fishermen. Okay, well, I guess you can do that, so, here we go, going up against Fisherman Shed. And, uh, well, he's coming out with his shelter right here. And we're gonna go with Aaliyah. Alrighty. Now, let's see. Let's go with a nuzzle. Let's see what this does right here. And, oh, there's that protect. Alright. Let's do this again. And that nuzzle attack does something. And look at that. Par paralysis. Okay, so I guess that's a good move to actually use. So let's go... Thundershock. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. Look at that, look at that, and look at that. And here she's coming out with a star you, so I'm just gonna continue on right here for Aaliyah. This is like paradise for her. And, well, let's take it out on star you, you know, because of Patrick and Leaf Green. Look at that. That's right, no star you. We'll, able, we'll be able to defeat me, but we'll, you know destroy my team from the inside which is hilarious okay so let's move on right here and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here so let's see there's a lady right here wanting to battle let's see what she has to say I'm getting tired of wearing this swimsuit I think I'll make this my last battle in it and then what I'm kinda wondering Ooh. and here is swimmer Marissa looking pretty fine as always coming out with her mask right now now this Pokemon fully evolved and scary as heck Alright, and of course, Intimidate. I don't know how that Pokemon will Intimidate a Pokemon right here. So let's go, Electro Ball. Yeah, I thought I was first. Here we go, Electro Ball, for the win. And yes, Masquerade. Looking like a, a foo right now, looking like a foo. And look at that, Leah grows a level 24. And Bonesaw. Level 17, I will be using that Pokemon a little bit more. Trust me, guys. The situation calls for it. It does. Alright, so let's see. Is that the last trainer? Last of all these trainers? I Oh, yeah, it is. So here it is, guys. We're in Silage Town. Or City, I should say. 
And uh, no, we're not taking a break. We're actually going to be, you know, taking a travel right here. No luck fishing. Try another spot. Move to a uh, not very effective. Try another one. When good I or when things don't go well, it's always a good idea to try something else. This is true. And well, let's see. I think there's an air. There's, oh, there's nobody here. Okay, so silage town, or I keep on saying town. I don't even know why. Uh, let's see. So this is very interesting right here, guys, because, uh, let's see, what can you find? You can actually find an area right here where you can actually change clothes and whatnot, and a bunch of items. Let's see, I think, or I always think very carefully about which Pokeball I use when trying to capture a new Pokemon. Same here. I actually try to make it diverse as possible. Okay, so, let's go ahead and take a tour of this whole place right here. Let's see, if you go right here, I don't know what can happen. Talk to this person. The Global Trade Station, or in short, the GTS. With it, you can use an internet connection to trade Pokemon with uh, trainers around the world, which is true. And let's see. Everyone deposits Pokemon into the GTS system, you see. You can search from among them uh, for Pokemon you want. True, very, very true. And talk to this guy. Hey, listen to this. Even if you've never seen some Pokemon uh, or another yourself, as long as you uh, you have at least heard of its name, you can just input the name on the GTS to find the Pokemon that way. Awesome, huh? It is true. It is very true. Okay. Well, that wasn't uh, that wasn't very educational. Now this place right here, you can actually go into the cycling shop, which we will get to a little bit later. Let's see. Talk to this person. Ah, would you like me to uh, massage your Pikachu? Yes. And my Pikachu is getting massaged and all that stuff. And, well, a little friendlier towards me. This is a place where you can actually have your Pokemon uh, like you and all that stuff. And, well, I can sure use a massage myself, too. From all that working out and stuff. Alright, so let's see. Uh, here's the cycling sh shop. If you go in here... Somebody will notice you, and he's like, oh, 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 welcome, welcome. Come right this way. What timing do you have, young man? Did you know that you are a 10,000 well, and first customer since we opened up this shop? Yes, you. You are luckily, lucky number 10,001. If you had been number 10,000, you would have gotten a bike for free, but as a runner-up, you still get a chance to win a bicycle by answering our quiz correctly. If you're ready, then here we go. Your question is, do bicycles come in uh, more than one color? Of course, they do. Bing, bing, bing. You are correct. I'm sure someone like you will love having one of our bicycles. Now, which bicycle will you go for? Yellow or green? It's what you'll have uh, oh, have go oh, for good, so choose wisely. Hmm. I don't want to get, you know... I don't know. Which one matches my eyes and everything? I don't know. You know what? Let's go with green. I always like green. Not my favorite color, but it's still green. Alright, so we got a bicycle now. And... Well, let's see. Is there anything else that we can do? Oh yes, there is a place where you can actually buy more clothes too. And I think there's somebody here that will trade you a Pokemon. So let's go ahead and try and find that trainer. Okay, so would you like to take a simple quiz? Yes. So here is the question. Which of these following berries cures confusion? Ah, crap. Uh, Aspir? Damn it. Yeah, let's try it again. Yeah, let's try this. Uh, berries can cure confusion. Um, uh, person. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. The move Swagger raises the target's attack, but it also causes which status condition? Confusion. Yep. And here's the prize. We get ourselves some person berries. Always lovely. And okay, look at that. Okay, so our Pokemon are gonna be awesome. The Kalos region is so big, it has three different Pokedexes. I wonder just how many Pokemon there are. There's a lot, trust me guys, a lot of Pokemon right here. And Pokemon are good sometimes uh, at some things and humans are good at other things. If we come together and combine our strengths, we can achieve great things. So true. So very true. Okay. So let's see. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, this is a place where you can actually change up uh, your clothes and everything, which we we will get to uh, get to a little bit later. But here we are in a motel, and uh, let's see. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some new kind of energy. 
that's what Professor Rowan from a faraway Sinnoh region spends his time researching. Yeah, Professor Rowan, pretty cool. Sleep can cure all, all of life's problems, so you should let your Pokemon get some rest. And here it is, the TM44 rest. Very good move. And let's see, I love talking in my sleep. You should have to try this. Get ourselves the TM88, which is, of course, sleep talk. Ah, well, two good combination moves and all that stuff. And let's see, the Holocaster was developed at the Lissandre's guys' uh, laboratory, right? It was. It really was. Okay, so let's move on right here. And let's see, well, let's go ahead and try and find something else right here. Okay, hi there. And perfect. Oh, this is perfect. Would you like to take this? I got this from a guest. We get ourselves a Destiny Knot, which is a very, very good item to actually use for a Pokemon to evolve. I think it's Dustnor or something. And let's see, aren't you? Aren't there any hot springs around here? Where I come from, we have hot springs right next to the Pokemon Center, and it's incredible. Yeah, you must be from Fall Arbor Town. And let's see, there's nothing here, and of course you will be finding the O Powers guy. Hey, how is it? How's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on O Powers. Let me ask you just in case. Do you need to hear an explanation of uh, O Powers? No. Hey, that's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? Bonding time. And we get ourselves money power. Huh. Never gotten money power before. I don't know what it is. Comment down below, guys. Alright, so let's move on right here. Let's see. Is there anything else that we need to cover before we leave? Oh, yes, the Steelix guy. That's right, the Steelix guy. We're in the H-E double hockey six. Are you Steelix guy? Okay, so we're crossing here, and would you look at that? Oh dear! If you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over, and I took first place. I feel bad that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you this uh, strength HM as in consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, it will be able to push large rocks around. So there it is, guys. The HM04 strength. And, however, if you want to use the move outside of battle, you'll need a badge first from the gym I run this in, in the city. On that note, I'll be waiting for you in the gym. Come challenge me at your at your leisure. So I'm going to be challenging him. No problem. But before we do anything, I'm just going to grab this item right here. Alrighty. Alright, so we got that item. Now, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try that new bike. Let's see, where's the bike? Okay, so let's go ahead and register this little bastard, and... Alrighty, so now we can actually ride our bike right here. Look at that. Pretty cool, pretty cool, huh? And, well, let's see, I, have I gotten into this house, probably? I don't know, maybe. Oh, crap. Customers who want to show off their gear Pokemon in our cafe. No, I do not want to go here. Okay, so, yeah, you're going to be battling a lot of trainers here, guys, but I do not want to waste my time on that and okay so let's see going right on our bike right here as you can see this used to be a place where you can actually race uh, the bicycles now oh crud here we go lagging again thanks a lot <laughs> all right lagging again there we are okay so you know what we're not gonna find the steelix person right now so actually it might be here in the Pokemon Center so let's go ahead and find them Let's see. How about this? Would you like to trade a love disc for my Steelix? Yes, I would. Do I have a love disc? Ah, crap. Yeah, I don't have a love disc. Okay, so yeah, this is the location where you can actually find uh, a guy that will trade you uh, a Steelix for a love disc, which is kind of a weird, uh, weird trade. But it is what it is, guys. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be facing the uh, Solid City Gym Leader. And then hopefully move on to whatever next town we're going to be getting to. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.